Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Next Gen VR. Today I want to do an FOV comparison, field of view, between the Vario Aro and the Pimax AKX in various different modes, such as from potato to large. And I want to also compare it to the FOV of the Quest 2. And the results have been actually pretty surprising, even for myself. So without further ado, let's jump into the next generation. All right, so starting with the Vario Aro, I'm measuring the horizontal field of view and I get about 90 degrees. If I go further than that, I can't really see the bars, but about 90 is the best. Now, if you do the FOV mod that I've mentioned, you can get 10 degrees more, so you would get 100 degrees. And now when measuring vertical field of view, I get about 72 degrees. So yeah, about 72 degrees when I can't see anymore. And now let's measure the Oculus Quest 2. So with Oculus Link and using prescription lens adapters from Widmo VR, I get about 88 degrees. I can still see the bar. And 90 degrees is when I can't, I can only see one of the bars from the side. So this is not too bad. And um, what's surprising is that it's the same FOV as the RO, except that in my experience, the RO feels like the FOV is bigger because the sweet spot covers the entire lens, whereas in the Quest 2, the sweet spot doesn't cover the entire lens. So this is why I was surprised by this result. And now I'm measuring the vertical field of view. And for that, I get a vertical FOV close to uh, what you would get on the Pimax 8KX 98 vertical. All right, so now let's test the FOV of the Pimax 8KX in potato mode. And in potato mode, I get approximately 98 degrees horizontal and let's measure the vertical so for vertical i get about 98 degrees uh, vertically so uh, pretty much like a square and now measuring on the same headset but in small fov mode so let's see what we get in small and I noticed that small is substantially wider already. So with small, I get about 118 and let's check vertical. So with vertical, I get about 100 degrees. And now for normal FOV, let's see what we get. So what I notice with normal FOV is that it goes beyond the majority of peripheral vision into far peripheral vision where you will notice it in your periphery mostly. And let's test vertical field of view. So pretty much the same vertical F. All right, and now for 8KX large FOV, the largest mode on this VR headset. So with large, we go way beyond normal, about 20 degrees above. So with large, we get about 158 horizontal. And then for vertical, we get pretty much the same expectation of 100 degrees. All right, so now let's look at the FOV comparison chart I made. So as you can see, the RO has 90 degrees horizontal and 72 vertical, 
But if you do the FOV mod, you can get up to 100 degrees horizontal and 76 vertical, at least for my particular eyes. Then the Quest 2, 88 horizontal, similar to the Aro, and 98 vertical, which is closer to the vertical FOV of a Pimax headset. So on the AKX in potato mode, we have 98 horizontal and 98 vertical, which is bigger than the Aro. But with the Aro with the FOV mod, you can get it close in horizontal FOV to potato mode. And then 8KX small mode is 20 degrees wider. Normal is 20 degrees wider than small and so on. So large being 158 horizontal. Now, since the Aro has such good clarity over the entire lens, it gives off the illusion that the FOV is wider on the Aro. So I find that the FOV is, feels wider on the Aro than on the Quest 2. The Quest 2 FOV feels narrower for some reason, even though they have identical FOV. So um, those were my findings. So that's pretty much it for my video. Thanks for watching, guys. And if you enjoyed it, please press the like button. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys next time.